The floating bulkhead is an innovative design that hydro owners use to dewater spillway gates and spillway bays. It provides the advantage that it can be used at multiple bays and even in certain cases multiple dams. Here we see some different applications of the floating bulkhead. We have designed bulkheads that rest on the spillway sill when installed. Some dams have a seat the bulkhead is designed to sit upon, and in other applications, the bulkhead is floated into the pier noses and held into place by the upstream water load. Butment seats can also be used for spillways with only one pier. Ayers designed the first floating bulkhead in 1987. Since then, we have designed 17 bulkheads in 11 different states, one in Puerto Rico and one in South America. Ayers can provide design, bid, build services for owners that wish to bid bulkhead fabrication separate from engineering services. We can also provide design build services working with steel fab, a fabricator located in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Working with a fabricator directly during the design provides a higher quality product for the owner by having a direct line of communication between the fabricator and the engineer during construction of the bulkhead. Our design build relationship with SteelFab allows owners to secure a bulkhead from SteelFab knowing you have a fabrication shop and an engineering firm with years of experience designing bulkheads and a long history of partnering with SteelFab. This bulkhead was designed by Ayers and fabricated by SteelFab. You can see the side seals for sealing against the pier noses, the bottom seal for sealing against the sill, the fill and air evacuation valves, the link plates connecting each individual caisson. The large valves you see here in the third case on are used for removal of the bulkhead from the spillway bay by flooding the dewatered area between the bulkhead and the spillway. Once assembled, the bulkhead can be moved in the reservoir by towing or pushing with small boats and positioned in front of the spillway bay to be dewatered for deployment. Here we see a bulkhead that is in the process of being flooded and descended. The lower caissons are being filled with water by the water fill valves and the bulkhead is rotating into the 90 degree position. Once the bulkhead is in the 90 degree position, it is ready to be moved up against the pier noses. Once against the pier noses, the downstream gate is opened slowly to drain the water from the back side of the bulkhead and the upstream water load on the bulkhead pushes and seals the bulkhead to the pier noses and spillway sill. Now the spillway can be dewatered and the gate repairs or a full gate open test can be conducted. Here we see another bulkhead being flooded and descended into the vertical position. This bulkhead was designed for a dam in South America where if one of the spillway gates was fully opened, the downstream city would experience flooding. The owner needed to prove that these gates were fully operational and the only way to do that without causing downstream flooding was this bulkhead. We partnered with SteelFab on this project. SteelFab did the fabrication and Ayers did the design. This bulkhead was designed and installed and the gates could be run through a full gate open test verifying they were all functioning properly without causing downstream flooding. Individual caissons are typically transported to the site on a flatbed trailer. They are lifted from the trailer with the crane and placed in the reservoir. Once on the reservoir, they are floated together and linked together with the link plates. You can see in this image here, that a ladder has been added to the bulkhead and you can see the air hose lines that are used to evacuate the water from the caissons once they are ready to float it away from the piers. This bulkhead is being installed using the garage door technique. The back side of the bulkhead has hinges and the lower caissons are flooded enabling it to sink literally pulling the bulkhead down into position. You see in the background of this photo a second floating bulkhead already installed. This bulkhead is used for maintenance on 52 different spillway bays. In this particular application, we also use come-alongs to tie the bulkhead into position just to help secure it into place. Here is a bulkhead that is in the process of being descended as a fixed piece unit, so it is not hinged. You see in the left side of the photo an abutment seat that this bulkhead is going to float up against. In this photo, you can see the position bulkhead against the abutment seats. This is obviously used in spillway bays where we have an abutment on one side and a pier nose on the other. These bulkhead seats are installed before placement of the bulkhead and typically require installation by a diver. In some applications, the abutment seats can be left in place, and in other applications, they are removed for spillway capacity. Here we have a bulkhead that we designed with standoffs to allow the bulkhead to be about two feet from the pier noses. In this project, we are replacing the trash racks, and the trash racks slope at the bottom, and without the standoffs, the workers will not have room to work on the trash rack. 
You can see the bulkhead in position here. This is a bulkhead in the process of removal. Air is being pumped into the caisson, evacuating the water. Again, this bulkhead was installed with the garage door technique, and the bulkhead is rotated into the horizontal position, just like a normal garage door. Note that the area between the gate and the bulkhead is flooded. That's what the bypass valve is for, to flood the space between the bulkhead and the gate to take the upstream water load off the gate. This is a bulkhead that we designed for an owner in Puerto Rico. The bulkhead was designed for one dam, and then the owner reached out to us and asked if the bulkhead could be modified to fit a dam with a smaller spillway. So an extra seal was added inside the original seal so that the bulkhead could be used at a different dam. Thank you for your time watching this video. If you have any questions or would like additional information, our contact information is provided here.